What's up guys, it's Joey here with Tracker Catfishing. Um, over the last couple of days, we've had a few people ask us what if we'd post us a video on uh, how we rig up our poles, what kind of line we use, what pound test, hooks, everything uh, come to do with our rig. So um, today we're actually gonna do a short video over exactly how we rig up our poles. Um, line, hooks, swivel, everything. We're gonna get down and dirty with it and show every little detail of our rig. So um, y'all stay tuned and we're, we're gonna get some stuff put together for you real quick. All right guys, so when we are anchored up and we are catfishing with current. Um, this is just when we're throwing an anchor. This is this is our setup that we use. We got two basic setups. This one I just call the Demon Dragon setup. It's just a Sandy Cooper rig, uh, modified Sandy Cooper rig. Um, just your basic rig, just with a float on it is all it is. Normal Carolina rig. And this one right here is just your basic Carolina rig. Uh, when they're actually set up on your poles, I got two of them set up right here. You have your hook at the bottom, your demon dragon, you got your barrel swiver, a little sinker stop right there to save your line, and then your weight, um, your, your no roll weight that is free. It goes right on the bottom, that thing just, they say that it's supposed to keep your bait up off the bottom, I don't think that it does, I think it just rattles and that's what attracts them to it. Um, we got the Muddy River Catfishing Edition on this one. I really don't think the color has any effect on it. Honestly, I may be way wrong, but um, I think it's strictly just the fact that it rattles. I think that's what gives it away. But um, our other rig right here is just your basic Carolina rig. Just got the same setup down here, leader line, and then just the circle hook at the bottom. That's all it is. And then you got your weight up here free. Um, our poles that we got, our reels are just the Cat Max from Bass Pro Shops. Uh, it's a cheap reel, man, but uh, I tell you what, it really holds up well for, for the price. It's the best reel for the price, I think, um, in my opinion. We got 85-pound Whisker Seeker braid on this, this orange line. That's 85-pound test. I love that line. I mean, it, it holds up to anything we've ever caught, that's for sure. And the poles we got, these are tangling with catfish. Get in here where you can see. These are Tangling with Catfish, the Extreme Series, the red and white. They're 7 6, medium heavy action. That's all it is. They're basic. Um, you can't beat the the price for these poles for the way that they work. We've we reeled in so many big fish with these poles and never had any issues with them at all. Great poles, all for a great price. All right, guys, so this is the regular Carolina rig. The easiest one that we tie. We got 60 pound mono is our leader line. It's the Whisker Seeker. Just 60 pound, the regular mono filament that they sell. You can use the big game, trialing big game and stuff. It works the exact same. Our hook is the triple threat circle hooks from Whisker Seeker. They're offset with a bent eye. Um, they're awesome, super sharp. They have a huge gap for bait, which I always like. And then we just got a basic little barrel swivel. I honestly can't remember where I got those, but they work awesome. Probably Dell's Tackle, actually, I think. All right. So first knot we're going to do is our snail knot on our hook. You want to make sure when you do this, you go in the front, out the back. If you do not do it like that and your line's not coming like this, you will not hook the fish. Or if you do, it'll be a foul hook. So what I do is I take it in, in the front, out the back. I go about a foot. I give myself a little bit extra just so I can make sure this knot's good. I make a loop right here on the back of the hook and hold it with my thumb just like that. What I'm gonna do is take my tag in, I'm gonna wrap it seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. As I'm going up the bottom of the hook. I'm gonna take my end and come back through our loop in the back and then pull it straight, just like this. Now simultaneously right here, I'm gonna pull our tag in as I'm pulling back on our main line right here, on the main leader, and it's gonna cinch it down for us. So I'm gonna pull both, just like that. So now it's tight on the shaft of the hook. And now I can cinch it down just like this. And there we go. 
beautiful snail knot. Now, as you know, if you've seen any of my other videos, I like to tie a little safety knot right here. All this does when you're using this big, thick mono line, when it gets wet, it will pull through um, easily. It'll pull through all your knots easily. So I tie a little safety knot on the back, just a regular little overhand knot. That way, if it does start pulling through, it's going to catch. My little snail knot will catch that and it won't let it pull through completely. So now I'll try to trim that real fast. And there we go, the snail knot's done. So now, we're gonna tie on our barrel swivel. Now leader line depends on the water, how fast the current's going. So right now, this time of year, the current's probably kicking no matter where you're at. So I like a shorter leader line. That way my bait's not going crazy in the water if I have a long one. So I'll go about a foot, foot and a half on this one. All we're gonna do for our barrel swivel is tie a palomar knot. I may do this right or I may do it wrong. I don't know. It works for me though, so I'm going to say it's right. Make a little loop with your fingers with the line. Go through one end of the barrel, swivel like that. I'm going to tie an overhand knot. Both lines just like that. So now this is what you're looking like. It's kind of hard to see. This is what you're looking like. I still had the tag in and the main line right here in this hand. I'm gonna take our swivel and put it through the loop completely and then bring it up over. So you're sitting like that now as I'm still holding the ends down here. Now with thick line like this, it will burn if you don't have it wet. So the quickest way for me to lick, wet it is just lick it really fast. <laughs> All right, now you're gonna cinch it down. Ew, I said you're gonna cinch it down. Just like that. We actually did burn the line a little bit there because I didn't get it wet enough because my wife awkwardly recorded me as I was <laughs> trying to get it. But anyways, that's what it'll be like. Now I'm gonna tie another safety knot just because uh, anytime I use mono, I like to tie that safety knot on it if I can. Just trim it. And there's your basic Carolina rig. We got us a snail knot and then a Palomar knot up here. That's all it is. Super basic rig, really easy to do. We normally tie like six of these right here pre-tie them before these tournaments and I'll stick them in little baggies. That way if we break off or something, I can just grab one out of a bag and then tie it on. We'll go over how I actually tie this to the main line here in a little bit. All right guys, so now we're gonna do the Santa Cooper rig or modified Santa Cooper rig. So all we have is the same 10 aught triple threat whisker seeker circle hook. We got this little demon dragon or float, whatever you want to call these. This is the Muddy River Catfishing Edition. Um, I don't think it matters at all what color these things are because it's dark down there on the bottom of the river anyways. I think the only thing that matters is the fact that it rattles. And I know that these things work because we, as you see in our videos, we've caught a lot of big fish on them. We're going to come up and then just tie another barrel swivel. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and tie this rig for you. We got our 60 pound monofilament for our leader line. That way, if we get hung up on something, it'll actually break off and save our hook instead of breaking the main line and losing everything. So first thing we're gonna do is snell our circle hook like we had showed y'all earlier. Make our loop, take our tag in, and we're gonna wrap it seven times. Three, four, five, six, seven. Pull it through and cinch both of them down at the same time. Alright, here's your snail knot. I'm going to tie my safety knot on the tag end right here real quick. Alright. So, there's your hook. So now our next thing to do is our demon dragon, which we want it facing frontward, going towards our pole. It, I guess it don't matter which way, but it would sure bug me if it was faced backwards. So we're gonna come through it. All we're gonna do here is tie us a regular old clinch knot. I think is that, that's what it is. It's what I've called it my whole life, so we're gonna say that. I like to twist mine five to seven times. 
Get it like that. And I'm gonna take our bottom tag end right here. We'll come through the bottom and out the big loop. That's gonna cinch it down for us. Just like that. And there's your clinch. Probably not the prettiest clinch knot you've ever seen, but it works. Tie a little safety knot on the tag in right here before I cut it. All right, so just like that right there, we got our clinch knot for our demon dragon, and then we got our snow knot. I like this to be pretty close to the hook right here, just to give it that rattle. I feel like if it's way up here on the line and it's right on up here, the fish are gonna come to it way up here instead of back here next to the actual bait. I may be completely wrong, but that's how I'm gonna, that's how I learn, so that's how I'm gonna teach it. So our next knot's gonna be just a regular old clinch knot on the front of this. Same knot we used on the bottom. We'll wrap it five to seven times. Come through, come through the bottom hole. And then straight out the big loop. Cinch it down just like that. I didn't leave enough room to do my little safety knot on this one. So I'm just going to cut the tag in a little bit long. That way, if for any reason it gets pulled through, it won't go all the way through. The, I promise you, the big catfish are not going to care about a piece of line sticking out like that. They don't care about a 10 up hook, so they're not gonna care about a little piece of line that's clear. Now we're gonna come up for our barrel swiver. We're gonna come about a foot off of the front of the demon dragon. Like I said, I like to keep these a little bit shorter this time of year when the water is going crazy like it is. That way it doesn't go crazy in the water and lose my bait or something. I'll tie a regular polymer lot knot on our little swivel. Like that. And come back through our loop. And wet it and then cinch your top. Just like that. I'm going to tie my safety knot again. Just in case. Like I said, this might be completely useless tying this knot, but one of the really good friends of mine taught me that. I'm gonna keep doing it because I haven't had any issues with it. All right guys, so this is the finished product of our Sandy Cooper rig or modified Sandy Cooper rig, whatever you want to call it. We've got a snail to a clinch knot, clinch knot, and polymer knot. It's super strong. We've caught a lot of big fish off this thing right here. and had no issues with it. All right guys, we appreciate you watching today's video. Hope you learned something. I learned all of the stuff that I've done in today's video on YouTube. So you can probably find it somewhere else, but we have proven that this rig works right here and the other rig that we've done um, exactly how we tie it. So hopefully we pass that knowledge on to y'all. Y'all can share that with somebody else. So we're going to have a lot of good videos coming here in the near future about us catching big old catfish, especially my lucky wife who's behind the camera right now who catches all the big fish apparently. Um, but we hope y'all subscribe to our channel. We appreciate all the support. Um, it's awesome. We're trying to grow it just so we can teach people the little things like how to tie knots. Uh, thank y'all. If y'all have any questions or anything, shoot us a message or a comment. And we appreciate y'all a lot. Stay safe out there.